Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. You know, a few years ago, there was a popular phrase, and it said, The devil made me do it. Now, as a child of God and a born-again believer filled with and empowered by the Holy Spirit, we can rest assured that the devil cannot make us do anything that we do not want to do. In fact, he has to go through God before he can touch you or me, your family, your resources, your health, and whatever other realm he tries to deceive. Satan does have power and he can influence, but his power is limited in a believer's life. Also know that many of the trials and the afflictions that we suffer can be brought on by our own unwise choices and decisions. In other words, the devil isn't to blame for everything bad in our lives. Sometimes we are, if we fail to heed wise counsel and advice. But again, Satan does have power and influence. But as a child of God, you must know and stand in your assurance that he is defeated and he is limited in power when it comes to you, dear beloved saint of God. Let's look at some areas where his power is limited. First of all, his power is limited in the affliction of the saints. Now, I'm sure that you are acquainted with the story of Job in the first chapter where Satan comes before God and he questions God regarding the righteousness of Job when he says, does Job fear God for nothing? Well, Satan, then, you know, he replied to God, have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and herds are spread throughout the land. And then Satan challenges God against Job and says, but stretch out your hand and strike everything he has and he will surely curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, very well, then everything he has is in your hands, but on the man himself, do not lay a finger. And then we were told that Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. He went out to start his dirty work and his affliction on one of God's chosen vessels. But remember, the next time you are afflicted and you know you have done nothing to cause the affliction, the one who has the power to cause affliction is limited. God will never allow you to take on more than he knows that you can bear. Satan is allowed power. He isn't all power. Only our Father in heaven and our Lord Jesus Christ has all power and all authority. Secondly, as mentioned, Satan is limited to his temptations concerning us, God's children. 1 Corinthians 10.13 tells us that no temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And it's good to remember that when we are going through things, beloved, that we're not the only one that has ever been tested and tried, you know, but God is faithful and he, it says that he will not let us be tempted beyond what we can bear. But with the tip, when we are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that we can stand up under it. Now that the eye of the Lord is always upon us. And he knows the way that we take. And he always has an escape route from the evil one. Never fear temptation. Just flee from it. Thirdly, Satan knows when he is defeated. We know the cross of Jesus defeated him. But he still goes around, the Bible says, as a roaring lion to devour and deceive But for you, this very hour, beloved, he knows he is defeated when you submit yourselves to God and resist him. He has to flee from you. 
James 4, 1, or excuse me, James 4, 7 tells us, Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That is the word of God. Fourthly, Satan's power is limited because we, the children of God, can overcome him by God's divine authority and grace. In Luke ten nineteen, we read, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. In fact, Romans goes further and tells us that the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet for the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is with us. So remember that that grace is always with you and the power of the enemy is limited when you walk in divine grace and keep yourself in God's grace. Lastly, Satan's power is limited because he knows his time is short. In Revelations 12, 12, it sums up the limited power of our enemy and our foe. It says, therefore, rejoice, you heavens and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury because he knows that his time is short. Yes, Satan would like us to believe that he is all powerful, but he is not. His power, beloved child of God, is limited in your life, for he is a created being as you and I are. And God, the only one, the one and only authority, has all power to stop him in his tracks the next time he comes your way with his lying, deceptive tricks. And God, in his love, as our Father, will keep you safe, and the evil one cannot touch you. The Bible tells us that whoever keeps himself in the love of God, the evil one touches him not. But you, beloved child of God, must take authority over the limited power of Satan in your life and tell him and rebuke him in the name of Jesus from your life. You need to have your thinking on the power of Jesus and use God's word to make sure that his power is limited in your life. When you do this, I promise you, you will find that you have the faith you need to live by. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments, Or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.